Hi guys, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel, Adventures in America. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jocelyn, and for today's topic, I am going to provide you the latest update at the U.S. Embassy in Manila regarding non-immigrant visas. For today's video, I'm going to focus on appointments. Who needs to set up an appointment for non-immigrant visa? and also some changes for payments, appointment scheduling, for expedited appointments and group appointments. So everything is all about appointments. But before we get started, please like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome you subscribers. Let's get started. Let's talk about the increase in appointments. For those who are planning to apply for a non-immigrant visa starting November of 2022, there are some good news for those who wanted to set up an appointment. Let's move on to the changes. Here are the latest update from the U.S. Embassy in Manila. The embassy is working on providing more appointments to applicants. That is why they are increasing the number of routine visa appointments in all non-immigrant visa classes starting in October of 2022. These are the big changes for interview required visitors for B1, B2 or tourist visa. These are for first time applicants. The appointment wait time has been reduced to now 131 calendar days. Previously, it is on 300 calendar days. So that is good news for interview required students or exchange visitors, F, M and J visas, 16 calendar days. For interview required petition-based temporary workers, HLO, PQ visas, the wait time is 8 calendar days. For interview waiver visitors or for those renewing for tourist visas, it is only 1 calendar day. For interview waiver students or exchange visitors, FM and J visas, it is now reduced to 1 calendar day. For interview waiver for petition-based temporary workers, H, L, Q, P, and O, it is only one calendar day. Let's move on to payments. There is good news for those who have paid the application fee but have been unable to schedule an appointment or have an appointment many months from now. You now have an opportunity to schedule or move up your appointment. Another important announcement is that if you have made your visa MRV fee payment prior to October 1st, you must schedule your visa appointment or submit an interview waiver application before September 30 of 2023 if you are eligible for an interview waiver. Most renewals are eligible for the interview waiver. Let's talk about expedited appointments. If you're a first-time tourist visa applicant, you can avail of the expedited appointment scheduling. Please note that you must book or must have a regular appointment through the appointment system before requesting an expedited appointment. So previous or current interview waiver applicants are not qualified to submit expedited appointment requests. Or in other words, if you are renewing your tourist visa, you cannot avail of the expedited appointment. Previous or current interview waiver applicants are not qualified to submit expedited appointment requests. So this is only for first-time tourist applicants. For those who are asking, the U.S. Embassy is still processing renewals of business tourism B1-B2 visas for applicants eligible for interview waiver. They are also offering biometrics only appointments for applicants who receive their last visa prior to age 14. The interview waiver can be availed of by applicants for H, L, O, P, and Q employment visas and seafarer or airline crew visa reissuance. For the first time, the U.S. Embassy in Manila is providing guidelines for group appointments, who are entitled to group appointments and who are not eligible. There's now a new guideline for group appointments. Please take note, you are not eligible if you are going as a family. So family groups are not eligible for group appointments. If you are a group of five 
or more applicants such as sports team, school group, or service organization, traveling as a group for competition or events and are applying for the same purpose of travel, you are encouraged to apply together for a group appointment. Still, the first priority are students and exchange visitors. The second priority are temporary employees. There are several categories of temporary employees. These are the categories. First, H-1B visa applicants. These are mostly from the healthcare or technology industries. Second, H-2B. These are for seasonal agricultural workers. And L visa applicants are for intra-company transferees. Now let's move on to the renewal of B-1, B-2 visa. You can avail of the no interview renewal of B-1, B-2 visa as long as you are eligible. Also, those who are applying for biometrics, the appointments are for applicants who received their last visa prior to age 14. These are also in the order of priority. Fifth, interviewing a limited number of B1, B2 first-time applicants each day. If you have additional questions or concerns or additional inquiries regarding your non-immigrant visa application, I'm going to send the link below in my description and also I'm going to show you how to do it or how to contact the U.S. Embassy. Here's an online inquiry form and I'm also going to send the link in my description. Please make sure that you indicate the inquiry's name, the inquirer's designation, primary email address, applicant's name, your SIAC barcode number, visa category, and topic of inquiry. Make sure to provide specific details regarding your concerns or questions so it will be addressed correctly. If you have any other documents or papers that you wanted to show or upload, you can also do that and there is an upload button. If you scroll down to the online inquiry form, it will show you the files that you can attach. There are also specific file types that you can send and make sure that you are able to send them. And the file size has a maximum of five megabytes. And also there's a security button, so please make sure to submit everything. If you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Again, thank you guys for supporting my channel. And if you haven't liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.